Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is time to open up February's mail from my P.O. box. I hope you'll stick around and see what I got. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. So a couple months ago, I started combining show us your sheet load with just happy mail that I get in my P.O. box because I was starting to get just some cards or letters from subscribers that weren't necessarily sheet load of cards cards to share but I still wanted to let you know what they sent so this month I have a whole bunch of envelopes wow you guys overwhelmed me and wowed me this month there were a couple times that I went to my P.O. box and it was so stuffed I had to ask for help from the back because it was just stuck in there so tight so I cannot wait to open it and see all of the lovely cards that you have sent now if you don't know about show us your sheet load what I do each month is if you want to use a sheet load of cards sketch which I'll have the playlist linked below you can send me one of the cards you make using the file and then I like to share those with my viewers at the end of each month there are other ways that you can share your sheet load with me and that is here on YouTube or over on Instagram. I have some special hashtags each month that you use so I can follow up and see what you're creating. I will link the show us your sheet load instruction video below if you want to know more about that. So as I go through these envelopes today, again, I don't know if they're sheet load or just happy mail, so they'll kind of go back and forth, but I'll try to share with you who sent it and then show you what was in each of the envelopes. Are you ready to get started? For this first one, my daughter was super excited. She likes to go help me get my stuff out of my P.O. box and she saw I have my first international happy mail in my P.O. box, so that was super exciting. I think this is probably gonna be from Great Britain, I'm gonna guess by the stamp, but there wasn't an address on the outside of the envelope, so let's go ahead and see what's on the inside. Look at this gorgeous card. I believe this is January sketch. If you do send in a sheet load, if you could just make sure that you let me know which month it is inside. That way I can let my viewers know if they like that sketch, they can go find that sheet load of cards. But I'm pretty sure that this is January. And here for her decorative border, it's super pretty. It's a really intricate design. And then I love how she has stamped the leaves in the background of her sentiment. And by the way, I keep saying her because I did look on the inside. This card is from Sandy of the Stamp with Sandy blog. And if you watch my announcement video on the 15th, you'll know that she is one of the collaborators that's going to be joining me in March to start kind of helping me share about sheet load. Thank you, Sandy. Next, we have a card from Naomi H. She did use a sheet load layout, and this is this month's. And look at that gold sparkle. I especially like that trim she has used for her thread nest. So pretty, Naomi. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Next is an envelope from Wanda R. Wanda sent me a couple cards. One is just a card for me with a little note, and she also sent me some adorable little close to my heart stamps, some little sweet treats there. Thank you so much. And then her second card is, again, I believe it's the January 2020 sheet load of cards. And you can see here for her decorative strip, she used some gold cardstock. I love this sentiment. A friend is someone who makes it easy to believe in yourself. So true. Thank you so much, Wanda. The next envelope is from Diane A. Diane has sent a couple different cards. And yes, she has confirmed this is the January 2020 sheet load of cards here. She has a nice little note inside. Thank you so much for that. And then her second card here was using the December 2019 sheet load of cards. And she made all of her Valentine's Day cards this way. So adorable. Thank you, Diane. Well, it looks like I have another envelope from Diane A. Now the labels look different. 
I've covered up the addresses so I'm not 100% sure, but I think it might be the same person as the last card you saw. Yes, it is. So she has set one using this month's sheet load of cards. That's the February 2020. And on my original sketch, I had kind of a thread nest behind the sentiment, but she has used this really pretty intricate die cut out of gold cardstock. So fun, loving these colors and patterns. And then her second card, this layout is probably one of my all time favorite sheet loads. This is the August 2019 layout. Thanks so much, Diane. This next envelope is from Carol Beth R. And she has sent two gorgeous birthday cards here. So she, here on the side, she has used some pattern paper strips. This would be a great way to use up some of those scraps. That looks so neat. And then on the inside, she's used a little piece down here too. And then the second one is using the latest sheet load of cards, February, 2020. And I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but her little balloons here have just a little bit of sparkle to them. Thank you so much, Carol, for those pretty cards. Next is from Christina M. Christina has been busy. She sent in four cards using different sheet load of cards. This first one is a happy birthday. This is the January 2020 sheet load of cards. And for her decorative border, she has used some sparkly white trim. That is very cute. And then her final three cards, she's already gotten busy on Easter, it looks like here. This one is the December 2019 sheet load of cards. Loving those little bunnies back there. This next one is using the February 2020 sheet load of cards. And it looks like she has used maybe some raffia for her thread nest. And then finally, we have another adorable Easter card. This one is the November 2019. Thank you so much, Christina. This next envelope, I had to cover up the whole address. Usually I try to leave like their first name and last initial visible, but it only had a last name. So I'm not sure yet who this is from. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. So I saw here, please open and read before you film for YouTube. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All of these adorable cards are from Nancy. Her note just said that I didn't have to show all of these because they do go pretty far back, but hey, why not show them all? And then you again can see other ways to use the sketches that we might have already seen cards for in the video already. This first one is using the latest sheet load of cards, the February 2020, and she has used some just nice fluffy blue trim here for her thread nest. Love it, and the little touches of gold. The second card, she has made a birthday card that has tons of sparkle in that background, and I believe that this one is the November 2019 sheet load of cards. Now, as always, I do have that playlist below that you can go and see all of my sheet load of cards videos. And then it's usually on the first of each month when I would debut the new file that you can download. I'm not sure of the month on this next one. I should probably have some kind of little thumbnail cheat sheet out here. But this one, it was kind of like a Z fold card. I really like this one, how it opens and it's just kind of fun. This next card would be totally appropriate for Valentine's Day. She has used a little decorative border punch here, and this is the January 2020 sheet load of cards. Here is another adorable card with a little sparkly donut. Now I think I need some sugar. This layout was shared in a card earlier, but I can't remember which month it's from. Again, one of my favorites. Next up is a very fun Christmas card. Love the layout here. I think this might be December 2019. And then finally from Nancy, we have a sparkly bright birthday card. Loving this. This layout is probably, wow, June or July. This was one of the first few that I shared on here. Thank you so much, Nancy, for all of these awesome cards and your note. Next up, we have an envelope from Naomi H. And I believe that I opened some cards from her earlier in this video. So let's see what we got in this one. Oh, wow, Naomi, you have outdone yourself. I'm going to read her note real quick, and then I'll be back to show you what she has sent in. 
Naomi, I hope it is okay that I share your note here. This just touches my heart and then makes me giggle a little bit at the end. So her note says, just a quick note to send along with these cards. Thank you for sheetload of cards. It has completely changed how I make cards. I make them for cards for soldiers and it has greatly increased how many I get done. Keep up the great work, Naomi. Proud mom of an airman, marine, and a soldier. And then P.S. This is what I giggled at. Let's just pretend this was written on cute stationery. I hear you, Naomi. Thank you for enjoying my sheet load and for making cards for such a great cause. Oh, wow. Aren't these gorgeous? I am loving this paper collection. This first one is another one of the Z fold sheet load of cards. And in this section, she has made a frame. This was actually cut out the center and that's where you can write your personal message. That is a great idea. In the original sketch, I had this full sheet of pattern paper and then another piece of cardstock on top of it to write your message. Great way to make even better use out of your products. This next one is using that sketch that I told you I really loved. In the original sketch, mine was kind of cut to an angle down here, but this just shows you that you don't have to follow sheet load exactly and you can still get an awesome card. Here's another one that she has the sentiment here across those pieces. Next up is a Happy Veterans Day card. I'm really loving that craft cardstock with this pattern paper. It looks awesome. Next up, I think this is December 2019. Love all of the gold trim on this and the stamping. This next one, again, I'm not sure of the month. It's one of the first few I think I created with the little focal point and the fishtail banner down here. And then finally, or last but not least, for the card she sent is another card with that beautiful golden eagle. And this, I believe, is a January 2020 layout. She also included a couple stamp sets from Unity Stamp Company. Thank you so much, Naomi. I love their stamps and I cannot wait to use these on cards. My final package for this video is from Jacqueline. Let's, oh my, she has two little plastic envelopes just filled with lovely cards. Let's go ahead and open these up. So the first envelope had three cards in it, and these are all using the January 2020 sheet load of cards. And this just really shows you how you can use one sheet load and get cards that could look completely different. On this first one is a black and white happy birthday, and she has some silver sparkle here with the decorative border and the little gem. Loving the earth tones and the colors on this next one and this sentiment. It says, you're the kind of person who makes a positive difference in the world. Very nice. And then finally for the January cards, all days are beautiful that begin with you. And I am loving the black ribbon here and that detail on the gray card stock at the bottom. This envelope had another three cards in it and she put a special note with this one, which the detail is amazing. All of the little die cuts and layers and the soft colors. I just really love that. But she has said that she cased this card from a Stampin' Up! demonstrator who is Mary Fish, I think here on YouTube. And she said it fits perfectly with the February sheet load. And then her final two cards use the same pattern paper. They're just kind of reversed where the placement is at. And I love how she's added the gems and the enamel dots up here for just some extra embellishing. And here on this card, it might be hard to see on camera, but she has used sheer ribbon behind the sentiment instead of a thread nest. That is super gorgeous and just makes the card so soft and pretty. Thank you so much, Jacqueline, for sending these in. I am so overwhelmed by all of these beautiful cards. If you enjoyed getting to see what my viewers have made, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and maybe leave them some love in the comments below. Thanks again to everyone who sent something in. It's always so fun to go to my P.O. box, unlock that, and see that I have a package or an envelope in there. Until my next video, which should be the next sheetload of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.